Hello everyone, I am Divya, your math facilitator. In this video, we shall discuss question number 1 of exercise 4.1. If you like my explanation, do like the video right now and also subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the channel. Chalo, let's start. So, we are going to discuss the first question today. Right, so this chapter completely depend on, depends on the formula. So, I have already discussed each and every formula of this chapter in the earlier concept video. If you have missed watching it, do watch it out. Okay, so I told you how to derive the formula also. Right, so here in the first question, you will have to simplify and also give reasons. So, how shall we simplify this? So, the first bit is 4 power minus 3. 4 to the power minus 3. It is like a to the power minus n. So, that is 1 upon a power n. So, a power minus n is nothing but 1 by a power n. So, this is the formula which we know. Yes, so this is the reason. So, this is like 4 to the power minus 3 is like a to the power minus n. So, this you can write it as 1 by, you will write it as 1 by 4 in the place of a. In the place of a, you have 4. In the place of n, you have 3. Isn't it? So, 4 power a power n you have here. So, it is 4 power 3. Okay, one simple method most of the students get confused in this. So, a power minus n is equals to whatever minus you are having here. Write this line here and remove now this line you have already written here. Isn't it? So, after removing this line what is remaining a and n is remaining write a and n and here write 1 here. Okay, so remember the formula in this way, right? So, this is nothing but 1 by 4 cube. 4 cube is nothing but 1 by 4 cube is 4 into 4 into 4. So, 4 into 4 into 4 gives you 64. So, 1 upon 64 is the answer for this, right? So, let's see the next one, minus 2 whole power 7. Okay, minus 2 whole power 7. So, this is nothing but minus, I can write this as minus 2 power 7 okay that is equals to 2 power 7 is nothing but 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 7 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 times so 7 times if you multiply 2 2s are 4 4 2s are 8 8 2s are 16 16 2s are 32 32 2s are 64 64 2s are 128 is the answer but remember here you have minus 2 whole power n so you will have a minus okay minus 2 whole power 7 you will have a minus so the answer is minus 128 why are we getting a minus here because because we have learned the formula minus a whole power n minus a whole power n is nothing but minus a to the power n minus a to the power n if n is odd okay if the n is odd then we write this as minus a whole to the power n if n is even here you have 7 is the odd number so you will get negative sign in the answer if if you have an even number as a power you will get a positive sign in the answer clear so for example uh, suppose if you have minus 2 whole square suppose if you have minus 2 whole square now this 2 the power is 2 it is it is even number so it is nothing but minus 2 into minus 2 so 2 twos are 4 and minus into minus becomes plus so the answer is plus 4 but if you have minus 2 whole cube Okay, here 3, this 3 is a odd number, it is not even. So, now see 2 into 2, you will multiply how many times? 3 times because you have minus 2 whole cube, 3 times, power is 3. So, now minus 2 into minus 2 gives you plus 4. Now, plus 4 into you have 1 more minus 2, isn't it? So, the answer is minus 8. So, whenever you have the power, whenever you have the base as a negative, Okay, and power is odd number. Now, here base is negative. If power is odd number, then the answer will have an odd sign. Oh, it will have a negative sign. If the base is negative and power is an even number like this, if, if you have minus 2 whole square, if the power is even number, then the answer will be positive. Clear? Let's move on to the next question now. So, you have 3 upon 4 whole power minus 3. So, 3 upon 4 whole power minus 3 is of the form. This you can write it as. This power you can distribute to numerator and denominator. So, you can write this as 3 to the power minus 3 divided by 4 to the power minus 3. Okay. How using the formula? Using the formula since you know a by b whole power m. 
is equals to a power m divided by b power m. Okay, so reasoning means you have to write the formula which you are using in the brackets next to the step. Okay, now see the next one. So you have this as 3 power minus 3, 4 power minus 3. If this 3 power minus 3 is like a to the power minus n. So this I can write it as 1 by 3 cube. Okay, since since a power minus n is nothing but 1 by a to the power n. So, this I am writing it as 1 by 3 cube divided by 4 power minus 3 also it is like a power minus n. So, this I can write as 1 by 4 cube. So, that is equals to now these are two fractions. Okay, now to, con to bring this 1 by 4 cube to the numerator it reciprocals. So, you have 1 by 3 cube division of two fractions. Do you remember you learned it? in your class 7. So, when you have two fractions, when you have to divide them, so you will multiply and this denominator, whatever fraction is there in the denominator, it reciprocals. So, you will have 4 cube divided by 1. Okay, so the answer is, so the answer here is it is nothing but 4 cube by 3 cube. Now, what is 4 cube? 4 cube is nothing but 4 into 4 into 4. 4 multiply 3 times, 4 cube means 3 cube means 3 multiply 3 times. So, that is equals to 4, 4 is a 16, 16, 4 is a 64 divided by 3, 3 is a 9, 9, 3 is a 27. So, this is the final answer. Now, next one, you have minus 3 whole to the power 4. Now, just now we discussed one formula. What is this? This is minus 3 whole to the power of minus 4 is the question. So, just now we discussed your formula a power minus n is nothing but 1 by a power n. Now, this is like a to the power minus n. So, this I can write as 1 by minus 3 this this you don't change okay you have a minus in the base that you will not change here power has a minus so this minus comes here and you have 1 by and now when when you are writing it in the denominator this becomes a positive okay now minus n became plus n here so here also minus 4 becomes plus 4 now now you see now this is this is like now this is like we just discussed one a minus a whole to the power n is equals to minus of a power n if you will have a minus if n is odd but if n is even if n is even you will have it as a power n isn't it i gave you example also minus 2 whole square and minus 2 whole cube so if n is even you will have it as a power n only okay it is even but here you see what do you have you have minus 3 whole power 4 so n is nothing but 4 here is 4 even or odd 4 is even so your answer will be 1 by 3 to the power 4 if if this n is even so the answer is a power n isn't it so here here so 3 power 4 you will write so that is equals to 1 by 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 3 you will multiply 4 times so that is 1 by 3 3 is a 9 9 3 is a 27 20 this 27 3 is a 81 so once you know the formula once you know how to apply the formula these problems will be easy for you as i told you you will mention the formulas here in the bracket beside the step which you are writing and all these uh, all these first four questions please practice it once because once you know how to solve these questions the next problems will be very easy for you so i'll meet you in my next video if you have liked my teaching do like this video and share this channel to all your friends subscribe and support me and thanks for watching